After determining that tube feeding is necessary for a lamb or a kid, make sure that the animal is not hypothermic and that you have all of your materials gathered. Start by determining the appropriate length for the tube to be inserted into the animal by finding the last rib. This will give you a guide of when the tube will be in the stomach. Next, if necessary, dip the tube into warm water or lubricate so that the tube will easily be swallowed by the animal. Again, make sure that all of your materials have been sanitized so that we don't accidentally introduce harmful bacteria in the process of tube feeding. Next, you want the animal to swallow the tube. Never force the tube down the animal's throat. The esophagus will lay closer to the left-hand side of the animal than the right. The animal should not struggle during this process. If it reacts violently or coughs, that's a sign that you may be going down the wrong tube. We wanna make sure that we're headed down the esophagus. Continue to allow the animal to swallow the tube until the measured length that you determined by finding the last rib is reached. If the tube is warm, it should be easily flexible. If the tube has been inserted into the esophagus, the animal will still be able to bleat and cry. Check for appropriate placement by listening for stomach gurgle noises or for air movement. Air movement would signify that you may be in the lungs whereas stomach gurgles will indicate that you're in the stomach. Next, attach the tip of your syringe and check for suction by pulling back on the plunger. There should be suction on the tube. If there is not suction and it moves freely, you're in the lungs. At this point, it is ideal to clamp the tube, remove the catheter syringe, remove the plunger, and reattach the catheter syringe to the tube again then allow the milk to flow freely by gravity into the animal's stomach. If you depress the plunger too quickly, you could cause the stomach to rupture, especially if you have air trapped in the tube. So proceed with caution and allow slow flow into the animal's stomach. Then clamp the end of the tube and remove from the animal's stomach. Thank you. Does that help you guys?